Barbecue is the oldest family barbecue in Texas, you know, still owned and always owned by the same family. We started back in 1932. My grandfather, uh, Edgar Black Sr., uh, had a partner, uh, Joe Robble, and the two of them uh, opened a meat market that turned into a barbecue business. I think it's what our family does. Some families are doctors or some family are in the real estate business, and here at Black's, uh, we have four generations working in the business now. Uh, hopefully there'll be a fifth generation not long. I pay attention to my dad and he is still the guru, the source of how we cook and how we develop all of our barbecue. We are the barbecue capital of Texas. I think Lockhart is unique because we have stayed true to our original barbecue roots, so to speak. We cook it differently than other places do. We have certain types of brisket that we use, and you can't even buy it in the grocery store. We'll cook that brisket nearly 24 hours sometimes, but it's on a low, low heat with post oak wood, and that's part of the secret, especially in Lockhart. Everybody uses post oak wood. It gives the, the meat a different flavor than the mesquite wood or hickory wood. A lot of people make a barbecue pilgrimage to uh, Lockhart. Every day we'll have people from uh, New York, from Los Angeles, a lot of folks from Australia. We drove in from Austin. We came in from San Antonio. Yeah, we drove all the way down from Houston. Whenever we ask about barbecue, people say go to Blacks, so we go to Blacks. When you walk into Black's, you smell the barbecue, the smoke, the aroma as you walk in the door. You're going to see a place that hasn't changed a whole lot in 80 years. The first thing that you see is pictures of all the history on the wall and um, articles that tell you about the long-standing, wonderful reputation of Black. It's almost like people treat our business like a barbecue museum. Our customers enjoy the food, and they enjoy stepping back in time. The pits at Black's Barbecue have been there forever. My dad built them in the 1940s. This pit right here is our main, main cooking pit. Uh, you can see the sausage on, on it right there. That's our uh, homemade sausage. Uh, we also have ribs on here. We have barbecued chickens. And of course, we got our uh, briskets. We cut the meat on butcher blocks that are 60 years old. Regular garlic, jalapeno oh, cheese. Regular. Oh, regular for you. We're one of the few places in town that has a great assortment of sides. We have 10 or 15 sides. A lot of them are my mom's recipes. And believe it or not, we have a lot of vegetarians who'll come eat with us just because of the sides. And a few of those vegetarians we've converted. Just you know, a few of them. Usually when you go to a barbecue spot, it's only, you know, the bread, the chips, the crackers. Here you have the green beans, mashed potatoes. I mean, there's a long list of sides that you can actually pick and choose from. So I'm totally delighted at that. Lean side or the marble juicy side? Juice. Juicy side, okay. To me, coming blacks <laughs> is coming home. It's coming back to a different place, a different time. You can, you can sense that with the people here and how warm they are and how much they care about the community and their customers. It's the real thing and you can't beat it. They've got a sign out front that said they've been running this place for 77 years now. And uh, I mean, any place that's been continuously running for that long, you know it's worth it. A family owned restaurant means family food, you know, good home cooking, and which is what we're looking for when we want to go out to eat. I think people love Black's Barbecue because they can tell we care about our customers. Our customers are like family to us. We try to give them uh, the service and the quality uh, experience, uh, the good food that they would expect uh, if, if they were at their own home or our home here. Mm -hmm.